So finally, getting towards the end of this initial introductory kind of surface anatomy lecture, I want to show this picture which may look slightly bizarre, but on, the, on this side here we can see a male torso. And what's being drawn onto it are a series of horizontal bands, like you're wearing a, a hooped jumper. And these horizontal bands mark an area of the abdomen that is innervated via a specific spinal nerve. And on this side, we can see that we have these individual spinal nerves which are radiating from the spinal cord. So if we look here, we can see that we have these series of transverse bands. Here we can locate them as T10, T11, T12, L1. These are the regions of the spinal cord that these spinal nerves originate from. And what we can see is that we've also superimposed various organs. So here we can see we've got a region here which is the stomach, we've got a region here which indicates the liver and the gallbladder. This is important because this is where these organs, if they become inflamed or if they become damaged, radiate their pain to these specific nerves. And because the body is not used to feeling pain from the, the stomach or from the intestines because they're busy functioning, the body assumes it's coming from that area of the skin, which it's used to feeling. You're used to touching your abdomen, so the brain is used to receiving sensation. So it's important, therefore, to understand where these organs refer their pain to the surface of the abdomen. And we'll explore this in later detail towards the end of this course. So in conclusion, in this initial introductory surface anatomy lecture. We've looked at numerous surface landmarks like the umbil umbilicus, the ziphi sternum, pubic symphysis, and that important bone, the anterior superior iliac spine. We've then used these regions to lo locate specific reference planes like the midclavicular, mid inguinal plane, subcostal, transtubercular, and how these divide up the anterior surface of the abdomen into numerous regions like the hypochondria, epigastric, lateral, lumbar regions, umbilical, inguinal or pubic regions. And we looked briefly at the position of some general organs within these specific regions, specifically looking at the appendix and the liver. And then towards the end, we looked again briefly, but we'll come back to this throughout the course, the sensory distribution from the skin and also from the organs that lie deep to it. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.